In today's video, I want to give you some tips on how to support those contributors that help you build and maintain that beautiful SharePoint intranet. So what I've done is that I've built a page on my um, intranet and um, I've called it administration. So here you can see it's a normal site page. And on this site page, I added web parts to say that um, these are the owners of those specific areas or sections or departments. And then on this page, I inserted a table. And this table refers to all the different areas that um, needs to be maintained and uh, what the purpose is of those areas, who the owner is in general, what is the frequency that it needs to be updated, um, you know, how often do we want them to review it or to refresh those pages. And this is kind of just like a very, very quick step, how to get to the um, app, how to upload content, um, you know, what the purpose is, etc. I've built it on the SharePoint intranet. Um, I can, of course, also build it behind the forum, which I'll show you next. But I do want to expose this page on the intranet also for people that wants to know who's responsible for which areas. And that just creates uh, transparency, I'd say. I think that really helps a lot. So what I then did, of course, in Teams, I have um, an intranet forum. And in that intranet forum, um, I, of course, have the general channel. I have an administration channel. And in this administration channel, I've added the OneNote for notes. I've added the planner for tasks that gets assigned. And you'll see there, I've also added that specific page um, to this team as a tab. And I used the website tab, of course, because it's not the SharePoint site that sits behind this team. So I've added that specific page so that my intranet forum or my administrators or contributors can directly access it from here as well. So this just gives guidelines as to who the responsible parties are, who must take ownership for what, what the purpose are of the specific apps. Of course, this table can get very big depending on how big your website is and how many hub sites and how many sites collections you've got linked to it, of course. But uh, I tend to build very simple intranets, to be quite honest. I've also added a channel called Microsoft Announcements. And on here, I can share a conversation, um, which I've marked as an announcement, so I can bring a banner in. So whenever new um, big announcements comes through, I can actually add that in here and say, this is the details. Um, there's the actual article that you can go to. Then also new requirements. Um, I've added a Microsoft form. So uh, for any new requirements, but this is also the intranet feedback server that I use straight on the intranet. You can also add a tab here that shows the results, of course. Then um, under resources, I've added and uh, shameless point. <laughs> this is a 21 part series um, that I created videos on building intranets. So maybe someone that's new to this to find videos on how to add web parts and pages. And then I've also added contribution which is a 12 part series um, that I wrote to help um, users support and um, contribute to the internet. So you'll see uh, it's actually got a list. There's, a, there's 12 different uh, episodes that helps you to contribute and maintain your internet. I've also added the stream channel. The stream channel surfaces uh, any videos that we use um, these are just examples, but of course, any training videos that you want this forum to have access to. Of course, I added the Microsoft Creators YouTube channel as well. Kia ora from New Zealand. Baka de zwa. Welcome. Soft sabai. Welcome here. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Microsoft Creators channel. You should definitely check out the this uh, Creators, channel, is a creators uh, channel. There's some amazing content on there. So that's definitely great uh, to support your contributors as well. The last uh, tab that I've added was Yammer. And this is my Yammer group um, learning through sharing. So this is where we share posts and do knowledge sharing. And then also I've added a channel called uh, Staying Up to Date. And in this one, I've added the Microsoft Roadmap. Here you can see any um, items that's in development being rolled out or that's just been launched. And you can actually search for um, for items right here. So if I had to search for Teams, it will show me any items related to Teams. I've also added the What's New in Office 365, which obviously is uh, related specifically to What's New in Office 365. Here again, you'll see the releases for the month. And um, there you can see it for the previous months. And uh, what I mean by Office 365, of course, Office Pro Plus, and that's the Office um, on your PC. So then Office 365 training as well. Yeah, you can very easily find uh, training 
for the different uh, products that you use, cheat sheets, infographics, etc. And I've deployed the Learning Pathways site on, uh, on SharePoint as well. So here is a link directly to the Learning Pathways site collection. These are definitely things that's sure to help um, your contributors. Now, remember that uh, page with the responsibility matrix. And uh, don't wait until you have all your ducks in a row before you build that page. Start building it from day one and keep on editing and modifying it. You can always um, promote the page and share it with your team if you want them to know that there's been updates. So if I go back to that page, of course, you'll see that um, there's the table. And uh, just to add a table in case you didn't uh, know how to do that, is I added a normal text web part. And in that text web part, when you click on the ellipsis there, it actually opens up further editing and there you can see insert table. So that's how I inserted the table. And I think that's just a great guideline for your employees and it's a great knowledge sharing and it's a wonderful way to document your, uh, your intranet and the purpose of uh, your intranet as well. And then of course, if you make any changes to this page, you could just promote the page and um, and send it off. So there's a promote or send by email. So you could just send a little email and say, hi guys, uh, just take note. I've updated this specific section, etc." So uh, I really hope that that helps you a lot. And I hope that uh, your team loves and enjoys building your beautiful modern SharePoint intranet.